As a top university in China, Xinhua has seen and shared the hardships and glories of the country. It sets its motto as self-discipline and social commitment to encourage its teachers and students to strive for the prosperity of China. In April 2021, Chinese President Xi Jinping visited Tsinghua University before its 110th anniversary. Xi said, over the past 110 years. Xinhua has taken root in China, establishing fine traditions of patriotism, dedication, and the pursuit of excellence, and nurturing generations of outstanding talent. Xinhua was born in a time fraught with deep civil unrest and international aggression. It started as a preparatory school for students who were sent by the government to study in the U.S. In 1925, it started transitioning into a university and drew many scholars to teach. Zhu Xiaqing was a well-known Chinese scholar, writer. And educator. 那时候他开设一门文词研究的选修课，当时选课的学生呢只有两位，但是呢朱自清教的依然很认真，因为没有教材，啊，他拿着提前准备好的卡片，将上面搜集到的资料一条一条的抄写在黑板上，一丝不苟，就好像对着许多学生上课一样。Zhu is also known for his patriotism. When he was ill and in great financial difficulties. He refused to accept relief food from the American government as a protest against the then U.S. policy towards China. In 1960, an experimental base on atomic energy was founded. We bus 来的时候带了两个帐篷，那么一个帐篷是放工具的，镐头、铁锹。有道矿，当时因为没电嘛，所以我们还是带了一批这个瓦灯，还有一个就是作为我们的值班室，我们就两个帐篷起家了。In 1964, this young team with an average age of 23 and a half built China's first experimental shielding reactor. Through decades, generations of Xinhua people have risen up to the mission of national rejuvenation. 外国人能能搞的，难道中国人不能搞？为什么应该为后人做这事情？这是我的人生哲学。这是一个美丽的风景，科学风景。发现这个高效抗病毒、抗体的一瞬间，就觉得生命都值得了。我感受到了信任，在乡村做事的话，能够实现自己最理想的作品的好机会。我的很多学长学姐都参加了研究生支教团。我也即将加入他们，投身志愿服务，为祖国的教育事业贡献自己的力量。要全面贯彻党的教育方针，落实立德树人根本任务，发展素质教育，推进教育公平，培养德智体美全面发展的社会主义建设者和接班人。教育是国之大计，党之大计，我们要立足。中华民族伟大复兴战略群体和世界百年未有之大局，群，心怀国之大志，把握大势，敢于担当，善于作为，为服务国家富强、民族复兴、人民幸福贡献力量。